Hey folks, I have your latest home prices and insights for the city of Toronto for week ending January 26, 2022. There is so much to talk about for this week in Toronto real estate. First, I want to talk to you about something else. We, we reserve this part of the show to talk a little bit about the actual real estate industry. I, being a full-time realtor, have lots of experiences that, that I want to share with you to kind of pull back the curtain on what happens behind the scenes many times. So let me give you a real life example. We recently were representing a, a seller. Offer night is a few nights away still, but during showings when agents are bringing their buyer clients to the house, routinely part of our, how we manage the listing, we're calling these agents and getting feedback from their clients. Well, one agent told me, this was the perfect home for their client because one of the parents of the clients lived on the same street just a few doors away and they needed that parent to to babysit their children wonderful i thought another agent told me their client has always wanted to live on that street and for a year they've waited for a property to come up and they've looked at other houses but this is where they want to be I thought, great. I often say what you say matters and who you hire matters. Well, in those situations, those examples I just gave you, one of the skill sets a realtor brings to the table is negotiation skills. And negotiation skills are, you learn from taking special training and you learn from experience. Well those agents that gave me that information, what they're not realizing is that we're already in negotiations just because they haven't handed me an offer yet because it's not offer night and we're not, you know, physically haggling price doesn't mean we're not in negotiations. What they've done is given me ammunition to put, to, to give me the advantage when they feel, okay, now it's time to negotiate. Well, I, I already have a, an advantage over them knowing why these homes are so, why this home is so important to these clients. I guess a skill set would be knowing when you're in negotiation in that situation. Well, what you say matters. Now, those conversations are important to be had between client and agent, but that agent should never be sharing and divulging information to another agent that puts them at a disadvantage and gives the other agent the advantage. Again, who you hire matters, what you say matters in this industry. Let's get into the numbers. If you wanna talk about real estate, your real estate situation, we've made it really simple. You could reach me just by going into the description below. There's a link to my calendar. Book a time that's convenient for you. This way I'll know ahead of time and I'll make sure my schedule is organized so we could talk about whatever's on your mind. Now, let's get into the Toronto numbers. I believe prices are going up. Let me show you why. We have here City of Toronto detached. We have a, a whole year broken down by week. Sales jumped way up from 109 the previous week to 153. No surprise, we're expecting sales to go up. And the amount of properties that sold for $2 million or more jumped up to 45. So 45 detached properties sold at 2 million or more. 153 detached properties were sold. Average sold price is sitting at 1,895,000. That is, well, we've got this here, 1,855, that's a mistake. This should be circled here as the new record. We're not counting the 1,995 because it happened between Christmas and New Year's. Those two weeks don't count. So 1,895 is actually the new record over the course of the 12 months, even before that. Prices are obviously heading north of where they are right now. Looking compared to last year, well, the average sold price is 7% higher than what it was last year at this time. How does that compare to median? Well, average sold price is 7% higher. The median price is 14% higher. So 
prices are going up no matter how you look at that. Of the 153 that were sold, 82% sold at list price or more. And if we just look at that, that percentage, I mean, 82%, it's been going up since the new year. It's the highest it's been in a while, so it's getting more intense. Listings, a little higher than what it was last year. Not by much, but up from last week. We need to see more listings, but we're not seeing as many as we'd like to see. And months of inventory has come down over the last few weeks. It's now sitting, <coughs> excuse me, it's now sitting at 0.6 months of inventory. A little bit more than half a month of inventory. What that basically means is if we continue buying at the current rate we're buying and no more properties get listed, will be sold out in 0.6 of a month. So a little bit more than half a month, a little bit more than two weeks of inventory is what's left right now. So it kind of tells us the relationship between supply and demand. And days on market is down to an average of 10 days on market. So detached market seems to be intensifying. Well, that's all the city of Toronto. If we break the city of Toronto down into three sections, east, west, and central. Well, the east and west here, average sold prices are pretty, pretty similar, of just under 1.6 million. But those came down just, just a little bit from the previous week. For central, average sold price went up. And we said for all the Toronto, average sold price went up. Well, you can see that it's being basically propped up by central Toronto. Looking at these a little bit closer, for west Toronto, 76 properties sold at list price or more. Average sold price is 24% higher what it was last year and median price is 31% higher. And months of inventory sitting at 0.4. So all of Toronto 0.6, but the West 0.4, it's a little bit tighter. Central months of inventory is 1.1. Average sold price is 3% higher than last year. 11% higher is the median price over last year's median price. And 72% sold at list price or more. So again, all of Toronto, months of inventory, 0.6. West, 0.4. Central, 1.1. And East, 0.3. It's the most competitive in the East. So the list price or more. 92%. Now East is mostly East York and Scarborough. So 92% sold at list price or more. Average sold price is 21% higher than what it was last year. Median price is 26% higher than what it was last year. So that's Toronto. Looking at, for Toronto still looking at semis, months of inventory, 0.3. So if at the current rate that we're buying, and we sold 55 semis last week, at that current rate that we're buying, if no more came on the market in a third of a month, 10 days, we'd be ha no more listings. We'd, we would have bought everything that's on the market. Well, average sold price is 32% higher than the previous year, and median price is 25% higher than what it was a year ago. And townhouses. 0.4 months of inventory and, and similar things. 67% um, sold at list price or more. Average sold price is 35% higher than last year at this time. And median price is 40% higher than what it was last year at this time. Big numbers here, 35%, 40%. Let's look at condos. Now, Looking at condo, are we thinking prices are going to go up? Well, let's look at sales first. Big jump from the previous week. We sold 396 condos in the city of Toronto. That's what we like to see. Lots of activity, sales going up. Now, 396 is a, a huge week. It's, it's way, big, way higher than what it's been for a good part of the year. So 396 is fantastic. Looking for even more. 44 of those sold at a million dollars or more. An average sold price is climbing up. It's now sitting at 773,000, very close to the record of 783,000. So condo prices heading up. Compared to last year, 773,000 is 
23% higher than last year's average sold price. When we look at the median, median price is also 23% higher than what it was last year at this time. Condo prices are headed up no matter which angle you look at, average sold price, you look at median price. Well, of the 396 that sold, 76%, <coughs> excuse me, 76% sold at list price or more. 76% is much higher than what it's been for a while. The market for condos has been intensifying. Listings, they're up slightly from where they were last year. They're also up a bit for, from where they were last week, which is nice to see. Months of inventory has come down. We're now sitting at 0.4 months of inventory. Average days on a market is 17. Does it, look like, does it look like prices will continue to rise in condos? For sure it does. The amount selling at list price or more, the percentage is increasing. Months of inventory is getting lower. If we look at all the home types that we're talking about here, months of inventory is down for every single home type for each region of Toronto. It's, it, it, the market is intensifying. So no matter where you think prices are now, I know we all feel that they're high. My opinion, they're gonna get higher still. Thanks for watching. Share the video if you think this will help somebody else and have an awesome, awesome week.